bunch of people for the book. I interviewed seven black experts, uh, three black women, three black men, one white dude, Christian Lander, the whitest white guy I could find. And, uh, but the, my, my personal favorite chapter, Resistance, so this chapter meant the most to me, is how to be the black employee. Uh, it kind of wrote itself, because it was all painful. <laughs> So this is written in the most uh, direct person experience for the reader talk to you. You specifically, you. <laughs> this is for you. So you got a job office, you're one of the few minorities and possibly the only black person. First of all, congratulations on having obtained a job. In this economy, that is amazing and makes you a superhero. <laughs> Protect the job at all costs. <laughs> Second, I am so sorry for the awkwardness you have endured or will endure in this environment. Hopefully this guide will help you weather the scenarios ahead or give you a different perspective on those you've already imagined. In many ways, this guide is related to the chapter on how to be the black friend. With the difference being, your co-workers are not your friends. <laughs> it is also mostly connected to how to speak for all black people. So please review both of these chapters to adequately prepare for your role as the black employee. The truth is, you have two jobs. The first is the explicit job for which you were hired. This is the job you saw posted on the web or heard about through a friend. It's the job title printed on your business card and in the company directory. It's what you put on your LinkedIn profile. <laughs> for the sake of argument, let's say the job Optimus Research Group. Footnote. At the time of this writing, I could find no business named Optimus Group. In the event that such a company is formed by the time you read this, I sincerely apologize for unintentionally besmirching that organization's reputation in the name of this teachable moment. Any similarities between this thought exercise, this includes names, company activities, job positions, and the number of minority employees, and the actual work environment at Optimus Research Group are purely coincidental. Also, if Optimus does have a job opening for research associates, hook up brother! <laughs> When you heard about this position, you were excited. Why? Because you love research and you're good at it. You prepared yourself, you updated your resume, you boosted your past experience and added personal details that connect you to the type of research this job requires. You, you read the company's website thoroughly. You Googled the business and its customers. You may even have done your own research on the particular employees, even management. You're prepared to be an excellent research associate. And when you get the job and sign the papers and show up for your first day, that's a role you're excited to play. But the thing is, you were also hired for another job. You're black. That's not to say you were merely accepted due to some affirmative action quota. If that were the case, nothing more would be expected than to simply be black and do job number one. That will make you a research associate who happens to be black. No. You have another job with specific responsibilities far beyond inhabiting your skin. The people who hired you likely weren't even conscious of this extra job. It's not as if they had one meeting about your research skills and another about your blackness talents. <laughs> Nevertheless, they expect great things from you, even subconsciously. Things like representing the black community, defending the company against charges of racism or lack of diversity, <laughs> and increasing the coolness of the office environment by enthusiastically participating in company events. <laughs> by the way, I met with a friend of mine in LA this week, and I, I wish I could, it, could integrate his story. He moved to New York, he was working with some bank, and they were like, yo, what are the hot clubs? And he didn't know, because he's not from here, he's from the country. And so we just made shit up. <laughs> he said, I just said one syllable sounding thing. I got her own is hot. And then when they couldn't find it, they were like, oh, he's so cool. Play <laughs> that game. Abuse your misplaced powerful position. Right. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> 